Today we're working with another of the world-class nomad guides, Nick Milford. Nick's another mad keen South African lured across the Indian Ocean in search of the sort of fishing opportunities only available on Australia's east coast. So where are you actually from? I'm from Durban in South Africa on the east coast um, and did a lot of fishing on the east coast of Africa and then headed across to America and really got into some good opportunities there fishing, fishing abroad and um, been to some really special places but I must say the Barrier Reef is really one of those places that there is, there's nothing else like it out here. You guys are really lucky here to have this barrier reef here, so just on your doorstep. Okay guys, so what you want to be doing is sort of casting about 10, 11 o'clock. Nice big ones. The boys call these big poppers dump bills, and it's not hard to see why. A couple of big casts and sharp retrieves, and it's a bit like you've been through a weight session at the gym. And that's before you've even hooked a fish. Yeah, fish on it. Pile one, pile one. Yes, 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 yes! yes. Oh my gosh! Oh. So we're actually... Oh. We're, po we're popping for GTs on the edge of this reef. But this is not a GT, it's a Spanish mackerel we're calling it for. It's a very nice Spanish. Wow, good job. That is a nice Spanish. Good job. So Skipper, that's uh, pretty impressive work on a popper. Mate, that is a very impressive fish. 20 kilo Spaniard on the popper, pulling 9 kilos of drag at, I wouldn't call it 100 miles an hour, but it was pretty quick, wasn't it? It was certainly very quick and uh, wasn't what I was expecting. First time I've caught one on a popper, so great experience, but they don't uh, like being out of water too long, so no. we'll, we'll put him back here. Yeah, let's get him back, mate. Okay, mate. Nick's looking to work a couple of different reefs today, which also gives us an opportunity to troll along the way. And with the assistance of our special trolling camera, we can see for the first time on Creek to Coast the sheer speed and power of these big pelagics. Mike, it's here for a while, I think. Okay, just get that right up nice and high. That's it. So what had happened is that uh, Steve had just released that Spanish mackerel and we've just reset the... Uh, the stick boat and as, as I was putting the rubber band in it just popped and I thought what's going on here but honestly this thing's taken a massive charge yeah uh, it's a monster Spaniard oh my goodness look at the way the it looks at the Spanish mackerel That thing is the biggest Spanish mackerel I've ever seen. Is it really? It is a monster. Look at the size of that thing's head. Well, there you go. When you've got the guide from Nomad telling you it's the biggest mackerel that he's ever seen, then it's a, it's a big fish. That is a big fish, What mate. would that go? I reckon he's going to be close on uh, 40 kilos. A 40 kilo yep. Spaniard. That is unbelievable, mate. I have never seen a fish this big. That's one of the biggest Spaniards I've ever seen. The one thing you learn pretty quickly on Nomad is that there's no rest for the wicked. No sooner is your fish back in the water than Nick's got you back to work. But with fishing like this, it's not hard to keep motivated. Yes, 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 yes! The big rat! It's a big fish! The big rat! Oh, jeez! Tighten up that drag, tighten up that drag! Okay, that's it, I'll grab the leader. <laughs> it's really? Hang on, he's not here yet. What yeah, a cracker of a fish, mate. That is honestly a fish of a lifetime. Yeah. Without, without saying, yeah. talking it up or anything, it really is. Guys, yeah. come and fish with us for years and years to catch a fish like this. So. It is a real privilege. We've uh, come a long way and conditions haven't been the best. 25, 30 knots of wind. But that's what these guys at Nomad do. You know, they catch fish of a lifetime, fish that dreams are made of. And they have the skill, they have the gear. As long as you've got the stamina, they'll put you onto them. This is what we call living. Oh, well, no, that's fantastic, isn't it? Watching him swim away. A couple more incredible fish to add to the photo album and a couple more strained muscles to remember them by. And you can bet there'll be more to come. After the break, our offshore adventure comes to a close, so be sure to stick around. I can die a happy man, right? No man. How good is no man? <laughs>
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thanks, no, well done, mate. Great job. Great job. Thanks, on the well done. <laughs>